Hey everybody, Morgan here from Xanadu Comics. I'm here subbing in for Professor of Marvel, Will, who is once again unfortunately sick. There's just too much all new, all different Marvel for him. You know, the change is just, it's a lot to take in. It really is. Uh, speaking of which, we've got a lot of number ones here, starting with Daredevil number one from real life lawyer Charles Soule and artist Ron Garney bringing Daredevil back to Hell's Kitchen and teaming up with new hero Blindspot, a genius immigrant inventor who has a sort of invisibility suit, which plays really, really interestingly off of Daredevil's radar sense. Um, and moving over to the Inhuman side of Marvel, this is All New Inhumans, number one, written again by Charles Soule, who's co-writing with James Asmus this time. Uh, the series is drawn by Stefano Caselli, one of my personal favorite artists, uh, did the Avengers World Book, which similarly, you know, you have the lead writer of a franchise writing the first couple issues, he's probably gonna jump off to leave Asmus to write the whole thing, which is not a bad thing. We don't want people writing too many books here, do we? Um, and another big franchise book here with the all-new header, all-new X-Men number one, this time written by... Dennis Hopeless, drawn by Mark Bagley of Ultimate Spider-Man fame. Uh, it's following the sort of uh, the original five X-Men minus one, Jean Grey, who's over in Extraordinary X-Men. Also featuring all-new Wolverine, Laura Kinney, and uh, two kids from the Jason Aaron Wolverine and the X-Men, Kid Apocalypse and Oya. They're sort of doing the whole road trip thing, you know, finding themselves, doing what young people do, I guess. And off in space, we've got Guardians of Infinity, number one. Yeah, this doesn't have just one team of Guardians of the Galaxy, not even just two. We got three of them. There's the main Guardians, there's the Guardians 3000, and there's also the Guardians 1000, which is, like, kind of weird. I mean, you know, the past is still kind of futuristic when it's in space, as proven by Star Wars. Um, that's written by Dan Abnett and drawn by Carlo Barbary with a really sweet thing backup by Jason Latour and, uh, what's his name? Jim Chung. And we've also got a new Totally Awesome Hulk number one, featuring Amadeus Cho as the Hulk. Uh, the internet's kind of come to call him Chulk, which is questionable at best, but kind of funny, you know? Uh, it's written by his creator, actually, Greg Pak, drawn by Frank Cho, who is Frank frickin' Cho. It's just, like, 20 pages of monster-fighting action. You got, like, this two-headed Gamera thing that he punches out in the first three pages. Pretty sweet there. And we've also got another new Spider-Man book this week with Spidey number one. Uh, sort of an all-ages title, you know, bringing Peter Parker back to high school, but not high school in the 60s, because the whole sliding timeline thing that Marvel's got going on. Uh, this is sort of a more modernized take on Peter Parker's early days. And you don't just have Dr. Octopus this first issue. You've also got the Green Goblin, and you've also got Spider-Man's greatest enemy ever, the White Rabbit. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna act like anyone else besides Dan Slott knows who she is. Um, this is written by Robbie Thompson of Silk and drawn by Nick Bradshaw. And the last book here for you that I've got a new number one of is Red Wolf, number one, with the, uh, I guess, breakout character of 1872 here, uh, written by Nathan Edinson, drawn by uh, Dalibor Talajic, with covers by local artist uh, Matthew Verage, who uh, is also, I believe, doing a sort of a consultation role on the title, you know, to make sure they actually get some things right about indigenous representation in there, rather than just, you know, sort of ham-fisting it, which, let's be honest, was a pretty big risk they were taking there. Um, that's it for number ones, but we've also got number two issues of All New, All Different Avengers, Howard the Duck number two, Nova, and my personal favorite all-new, all-different Marvel book, The Vision, which is the creepiest thing on the stands right now, to be honest. Uh, and that is actually it this week. So thank you for sticking around, and thank you for your interest in all-new, all-different Marvel.